Welcome to Vocal Power. I'm Earl Skye. The world's number one fear, they say, is public speaking. And comedian Jerry Seinfeld put it quite perfect one day when I heard him do his routine in New York City. He said, people would rather be laying in the coffin than giving the eulogy. And for many people, unfortunately, it is true. Why are people afraid to public speak? A, they've never been put in the situation enough to practice. When you were in school, they would have little Johnny and little Mary come up, they'd memorize their speech, and of course you'd lose your place, and you'd freeze, you'd get nervous, and you'd never want to speak again. That's because you were never taught to do it properly. You should never memorize a speech. You should learn your speech. Write a speech out six times, learn it, and once you learn it, pace yourself. Set up a bullet form summary of your speech, and that way you have a track to run on. Over the next couple of segments, I'm going to teach you not how to write a speech, but how to present a speech. Speaking is leaving an impression. It's a transfer of energy from the speaker to the audience, or if you use the telephone to cold call in your business, from the telephone you're holding to the listener. You must have a great transfer of energy. If you don't have the energy, you can't leave the right impression. Speech is made up of many factors. First and foremost, when you speak, you have to be clear. So clarity is very, very important. You have to speak with confidence. And how do you get that confidence? It only comes with practice. And once you have the clarity and you have the practice, you will have the authority. So when you stand up and speak, people will listen. So how do we leave the right impression? First and foremost, speech is made up, as I said, of many factors. 55% of your speech is made up of your body language, your hand gestures, how you look, your eye contact. And we'll cover this in the next couple of sessions. 37% is your voice, the tone of your voice, the pace of your voice, how it comes out and amplify through your vocal cords. And believe it or not, 8% is only the words. You could be the greatest speech writer in the world, but if you can't present it properly, you might as well go home. Let's talk about some of the great speech deliverers of our time. John F. Kennedy, when he spoke, people listened. Martin Luther King, freedom now, freedom now, hear a dime drop when he spoke because people paid attention. Churchill. Many people say Churchill actually didn't deliver the speeches during the war, that it actually was an actor. And that's still to be discovered today, so many years later. And the greatest speaker today, Barack Obama. Of our age today, probably Obama. They call him the second Kennedy. Well, he certainly grabs my attention when I hear him speak. So over the next few sessions, I hope to take you to the next level or start you on the right track to public speaking effectively. So let's begin today about talking how we can deliver a proper speech. Speech is made up of vocal sounds, of course. The pitch, the rhythm, the tone. A lot of people have a tendency to talk like this. They don't change their tone or moan because they can't put emotion into their speech. So emotion is very, very important. And last but not least, it's diction. If you have a tendency to trip over every word you utter that comes out of your mouth, people will not pay attention. Again, these are things you weren't taught in school. So now we're going to teach you a little bit how to speak properly. So every time you open your mouth, you speak with clarity, tone, and lots of emotion. Remember, it's not what you say, but how you say it. Next week, we'll look at breathing and how proper breath will give you the proper tone to every note, I call it, or word that you speak. For more information on vocal power, check out my website, www.vocalpower.ca. Till next week, I'm Earl Skye.